Here's your hand of a video for the Luna Venus 620. At the front here, we have your Alco stabiliser. So, when hooking up to the car, your table will slot like that. Black handle will go down. Alco stabiliser goes also down. And here, you will have an indication, which is green. That will pop up to indicate that the tow ball is seated correctly. To release the tow ball, you lift the stabiliser, release the black handle, tow bar comes up. Tow ball comes out. Have your handbrake, your jockey wheel. Also here you have your 13 pin plug, which does all the outside caravan lights, and 12 volt to the fridge from your car if your car is wired up correctly. In the gas locker you have two spaces for two propane or butane gas bottles. Also have a bulkhead regulator suitable for propane and butane. Around this side you have your Truma outside flue for your water heater and room heater. Here we have your water pump and your water inlet. Let's get water, you fill up your aqua roll, put the pump simply at the bottom of the aqua roll and insert pump like so. Also around this side we have your um, battery locker which obviously can fit a battery in and the mains inlet from your 230 power supply. We have two waste outlets, we have your toilet cassette which pulls out which is able to be emptied, slot back in push it like so. We also have the filler point for your toilet flush. As you can see all the lights on and working correctly. <coughs> As we come into the van, above the door we have your main control panel. Switch it on, you press but on the left here, that turns all the power on into the caravan. On the right hand side, you have your awning light, internal lights, water pump, and your life of battery. On the right here, you have your Truma control panel, which controls your water heater and the internal heater. To access it, you press the button here, You've got internal temperature, water temperature, so on, hot or boost. On the internal temperature you have obviously up to 30 degrees to set it what you want to. Here you have your appliance that you use it on, so you've got gas, mix of gas and electric, and again mix of gas and electric electric one and electric two, so one kilowatt, two kilowatt. On the right here, we have the speed of your blowers down here like so, which are located across the whole of the van. So you also have vent off, and let's go on, let's just set it up to, so we'll say up to 30. If you haven't got it set on what you want it, it will only vent, but once you have set it on what temperature you want it on, you can have eco or high. And then also down here you have other different settings, but you can look in the manual for that. Obviously when you are finished in the van and you're finished using the appliance, make sure you turn it off correctly. So you hold this center button for a few seconds until it says off. And that will shut that down correctly. Obviously, if it's not done so, an error will occur. When you do come into the van, if you're having no power on that control board at the top, this shutdown button here will need to be pressed in. Obviously, after finish finishing using the van, you press it, you press the shutdown button off. So there's no power running in the van when you let it down for storage. Also on the right here, you have your battery charger and your heater. When the heat 
To use the heater on electric, that button must be pressed in. And with the charger, obviously when you are on 230 electrics, you press the charger button in and it will obviously send charge to your battery. On the left here, we have your fuses. And also on the right, you have your main RCD and three MCBs. Obviously MCB at the bottom, they label what they do. One connects into a new, a new power supply. Always press this button here to test, to test the RCD is working as it should. To get water into the caravan, your drain off valve will have to be facing horizontal like that to keep all the water in the system. So once we are all set up to go, we press the pump button like so and you open all the taps to get the air through. Obviously, once you've opened all the taps, you've got one in the kitchen, towards the back of the van, and the bathroom, like so. Also in the bathroom, you have a Fetford toilet. So to pump, the fluid through, you pump it like so to get into the caravan. Obviously, once you are finished using the van, round here, you got a knot, a little knob. You push that towards you to let all the water, all the fluid drain into the cassette and close again. So here we have a. Obviously, you've got your cooker and your burners. So to turn on, on gas, what you do is just a knob here. You turn it like so. While doing so, you press the igniter. And same with the other two on here, located here, here and here. To do your grill, you have a knob here. So you push it in to the right, like so. And as you can see, your grill is working. Turn it off, the knob like so, and on for the oven. So you push it in to the left anti clockwise, and to push it in and hold the button, and like so, the oven is lit. Just so you can see, all three burners are working as they should have a high flame or a low flame, like so, like so. With the fridge, you have three different settings. You have mains, battery, when only connecting to the car, but it will only maintain the temperature already in the fridge. And on gas, push it onto gas like so. You hold in button here, while pressing this igniter. And as you can see, while pushing it in, it's lit first time, and this little green knob arrow goes all the way to the right, just to show it is lit. Under here, you have all your gas manifolds for all your appliances, if need to, to access them. Above me here, we have the microwave. So to access the microwave, you hold this button here, and like so, Obviously, you can go through all your different settings to whatever you want at, but there is a. But to look at more information, you can look at the the actual um, information package in the book pack. Moving over to the front, we have your radio fitted and your quattro box, which is for the mover, which we'll demonstrate later in the video. And here, which will be left in the van, is the warranty that is covered by us. But like I say, it will be left in the van, so obviously feel free to have a read through. And so last but not least, we have the mover, which is fitted onto the caravan. So you have one on both sides of the wheels. 
So first of all, you have your motor mover switch. So you need to turn that, push it in, and turn it to clock on. Once you have moved the bar and engaged the movers onto the wheel, it will look like so. Now you are safe to release the handbrake. Once the handbrake is off, you double click the power button. That will connect itself to the mover and you are free to move. So you have got forward, backwards, This way, so and that will be all. Oh no, to disengage it, same thing double click the button to turn off the power controller, anti clockwise for the switch, handbrake back up before disengaging the movers off to the wheel. Thank you.